Right now, as the state struggles to distribute all that rental assistance, there are some tenants who've just run out of time, which is also why there is now push for a special legislative session to pause evictions for renters who applied for help. Let's get to our Lindsay Nadrich going beyond the headlines for us tonight. Also getting an update from the state in all of this. Lindsay, what can you tell us? Well, Oregon Housing and Community Services says they're adding more staff and looking for ways to speed up this process, but they know some renters are now at risk of getting evicted because of how long it's taking to get this money out. OHCS estimates 11,200 applications are now outside of the 60 and 90 day windows for eviction protections. The state says it is prioritizing those applications and focusing on tenants at the highest risk of getting evicted. OHCS and our local program administrator partners are working as fast as possible to review applications and we are prioritizing the most vulnerable households first. However, they also estimate it will take until the end of the year to get through the backlog and some renters are out of time. People could still potentially get evicted even though that payment is in process on the back end. That's why Clackamas Women's Services is among several organizations calling for a special session of the legislature to extend eviction protections. What a shame it would be to have all of this assistance out there and have had people go through that process, which can be challenging enough as it is, only to find out the money will eventually go out, but they may no longer be in that home. CWS Executive Director Melissa Earl Palm says they've heard from a lot of families who are worried their applications won't be approved in time. Just that day to day not knowing um, and being so close to the edge, having that glimmer of hope, knowing that that eviction prevention is there so that you can move forward and have stability and know that that could still fall apart at the same time. She says this is especially concerning for domestic violence survivors they serve who have made safety plans around the homes they're currently in. Having to relocate could put them at risk. I think this is a small thing that the legislature has the ability to fix and delay the timeline and the deadline so that we can get this paperwork done and keep folks in their homes and keep them safe. Governor Brown's office said she is talking with legislative leaders from both parties about solutions for renters and is willing to call a special session when and if the votes are in place. As of now, 33% of households who have applied for help have been paid. Reporting live on Lindsay Natter, Point Six News.